Now we're going to utilize the stability ball. We're going to do an exercise I call ball journeys. We're going to pass the ball from our legs to our arms and then back to our legs. You can't count it as a repetition until the ball makes the full journey from your legs to your arms and back to your legs. The reason I love this exercise and that you'll love it is it's focusing simply on the stretching aspect of the abs. It's going to give you a huge stretch every single exercise that you do. Every single rep, we're going to get that awesome, awesome stretch. So we're working on really giving you long muscles here. So long muscles are usually lean muscles. So let's get working on these. So what we're going to do is take the ball, lie flat on our back, squeeze the ball with our legs, and that'll be our start position. Arms are over the head, and this is our start position. One mistake I see way too many people make is they try and move up to a medicine ball. If that ball falls out of your legs and lands on your face, it's not going to be a pretty picture. So stick with the Swiss ball. If you happen to not hold the ball tight enough, the ball is just going to bounce. Not a big deal. So stick with the Swiss ball. So again, you're grabbing that ball with the legs. Arms overhead. You're going to lift the legs up. When they get to a halfway, you're bringing the upper body up, grabbing the ball, making that nice pass, nice straight abs, back up. So again, we're focusing on that stretch. Remember, you can't count a rep until the ball goes from the legs to the arms, back to the legs. I'm going to do two repetitions here for you. One. And two. Remember, that ball has to make the full journey before you count it as a repetition.